inspiring for Shug Mahay and Craig Perret. And then number one, easy goer. The entry is at eight to five with Pat Day aboard. Uh, the next one we're going to be looking at, once again, that's all inspiring with Craig Perret coming off a win in the Jersey Derby, his last start. The next horse that we'll be moving in on will be a number two. That's uh, Irish actor for trainer Leroy Jolly for Eddie Maple. An Irish actor, last time out, was second in the Peter Pan, beating six lengths to Imbibe. Imbibe should be coming up on your screen right now. That is Imbibe, trained by T. Uh, Kelly, We're ridden by Angel Cordero. And Imbibe, last time out, won the Peter Pan by six lengths. Next one we'll be looking at will be number four is Triple Buck. Triple Buck is trained by J.J. Lanzini Jr. Will be ridden by Jose Santos. And Triple Buck, last time out, a race over Belmont Park on a mile and eighth in the loudness test. Easy score by six lengths. Number five, Hawkster. We talked a little bit about Hawkster last time. Hawkster is trained by Ron McNally. Will be ridden by Marco Castaneda and is currently 35 to one. That's Hawkster, last time out in the Preakness, was fifth beaten 10 and three quarters, where he was wide throughout. Number six is Rock Point. Rock Point is trained by Sidney Waters, ridden by the ever popular Chris Antley. And Rock Point, last time out in the Preakness, was third beaten five in the Wood Memorial, who was second beaten three lengths. There's everybody's favorite, maybe the 12th Triple Crown winner. That's number seven, Sunday Silence, trained by the veteran Charles Winningham with Pat Venezuela in the irons at four to five and I'm sure the butterflies are rolling right now for Pat Venezuela on Sunday Silence. The uh, number eight horse, La Voyager. La Voyager is kind of an unknown quantity, first time in the country here, and at 30 to one. The bottom horse, number nine, Firemaker with J.D. Bailey aboard is 90 to one, and the longest price on the board. And Firemaker, last time out in the Peter Pan, was beaten by Imbibe, an Irish actor. Will be ridden by J.D. Bailey, and is currently at going to go in there. He's not much choice. He knows Sunday yeah. Silence is A little is in crack there. He says, I don't want to go, but you've got no choice, big guy. Next thing you're going to see the assistant starters tail him, but they didn't do that. We're going to look for uh, number seven, I guess at this point. He's four to five here. I do not know what he is at Belmont. That is the, hopefully, the Triple Crown winner, Sunday Silence with Patrick Venezuela up. Number eight, Lavoy. That's number one. Uh, that's easy, easy goer. goer. The, his main competition, I guess maybe that's the closest he wants to get to him, maybe standing in the gate. There's La Voyager going in. We're going to look for number 1A. That's all inspiring, the Jersey Derby winner on Memorial Day. And we're going to be looking at number 9, a Firemaker. And uh, we've got 10 of them facing the starter for the 121st running of the Belmont Stakes. And let's hope it's a clean break. And they're all going to face, I guess, it'll be Marshall Cassidy. between horses easy goer is right there firemaker in the middle of the racetrack is fourth then comes rock point triple buck claims the rail as they round the clubhouse turn it's le voyageur and randy romero on the front end leading the pack by a length and a quarter triple buck along the inside is second by a head there goes Sunday Silence on the outside. Rock Point between horses fourth. Easy Goer is fifth on the outside. Three off the rail. Two lengths farther back. It's Fire Maker. Then a gap of two and Hawkster followed by Awe Inspiring. Imbibe and Irish Actor is tenth and last as they move to the back stretch. On the front end, it's still the Voyageur running the first race of his life in the United States. The first time on dirt. In front by a length and a quarter. Sunday Silence reserved in second position. Triple Buck is gaining a bit on the inside. Easy goer on the outside between horses Rock Point. Now moving down the back stretch. The first quarter in 23 and 1, the half in 47 seconds. That's three seconds faster than the affirmed Alidar Belmont. Down the back stretch, Le Voyageur in front by three and a half lengths. With Sunday Silence second, then Easy Goer on the outside third. Rock Point is fourth by a hit. Triple Buck along the inside fifth. Firemaker is sixth by two. Hawkster is seventh. Awe Inspiring is eighth. Imbibe races ninth and far back. That's Irish actor tenth and about 
20 lengths off the leader. But it's still Le Voyageur in his American debut, leading the pack three parts of a length. Now Pat Valenzuela asks for speed, and the Kentucky Derby and Preakness winner Sunday Silence responds. Easy Goer is also closing in on the top two. Midway around the turn, Sunday Silence takes the lead and looks to the Triple Crown. Here comes Easy Goer on the outside to challenge. Le Voyageur is hanging tough. Those three across the track, and the others are far back. A quarter of a mile to go in the Belmont. Easy Goer on the outside takes command. Sunday Silence moves to the outside for the drive. The Voyager is now in third. And down the stretch they come. It's Easy Goer for the furlong to the finish in front by five. Sunday Silence appears beaten. The Voyager is third. Down the stretch, and it's Easy.